Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you about design of batten columns procedure. I mean, uh, IS 800 2007 specified some specifications. So I'll show you those specifications. Have you seen this? This is the batten column. I'll show you in the code book. Okay, this is the batten plates. I mean, this is a arrangement of batten plates. Okay, the same diagram. This one. Okay, the first uh, design details of batten, sir. The first thing is we need to arrange the batten plates symmetrically. Okay, uh, and the next one is uh, when it comes to spacing, spacing of these battens. This is one batten plate and this is another batten plate. Spacing of these battens, that is, uh, I call it as C. So, code is specifying that C by R minimum shall not be greater than 50 or 0.7 times the standardized ratio. While we are uh, arranging the spacing, we need to remember this one. After that, overall depth. Overall depth of end battens. End batten is nothing but, you just see this. Uh, this is this plate is connected to the end of this channel section. If suppose this is one channel section, this is another channel section, which is placed back to back. So, uh, by using this end batten, we connected. So, this is called end battens, which is connected at end of the section. And next, uh, overall depth. So, while uh, calculating this depth, I'm considering this as D. This is overall depth of this uh, batten plate. That is equal to D dash plus tau into edge distance. D dash is nothing but from uh, here uh, fastener to this fastener distance. That is D dash plus tau into edge distance. Like that, effective depth. Effective depth is nothing but D dash. So D dash is equal to S dash plus tau into CYY. S dash is nothing but spacing between these two channels. And CYY value is available in uh, Steel Tables book for this channel section. Okay, like that, we are going to calculate the end battens. And next one is intermediate battens. Intermediate battens is nothing but uh, while uh, both ends we connected with end battens, in between another battens are there that those are called intermediate battens. Okay, so for that intermediate battens, we calculated the oral depth by using this formula. This is D1, oral depth, and effective depth D dash. The code is specifying that 3 by 4 times the D dash. And when it comes to thickness of the battens, the code is specifying that t less than uh, not less than 1 by 50th times overall depth of the end battens so these are all uh, design details of the battens when it comes to the design of battens while we are designing the battens we need to uh, do these things that is batten should be designed to carry bending moment and shear arising from transfer shear already in previous video we discussed about uh, while we are calculating the lacing bars so in that the transfer shear V equal to 2.5% of total axial load in the compression member. So while we are calculating the transfer shear V equal to code specifying that 2.5% the total axial load in the compression member. After that uh, we need to distribute this load equally to the uh, same I mean uh, parallel planes of the battens. That means if we got something 2000 like that we need to distribute uh, those 2000 to the battens equally we need to distribute for that purpose the code is specifying that that is vb equal to vt into c by n into s i will show you in the code book have you seen this yes vb equal to vt into c by ns along the column axis and the moment this is the shear and this one is moment vtc moment uh, m equal to vtc by 2n at each connection so vt is nothing but transfer shear force and c is the distance between center of the battens that is already i show you C value and the number of parallel planes of the battens and S is minimum transfer distance between the centroid of the rivet if suppose it is a bolt or rivet or group of welding whatever it is like that we need to calculate this so these are the design uh, parameters okay while ca calculating the battens in the next video I will show you the um, solved example problem of battens and now I am going to uh, explain you about one gate example problem this is given in gate so two plates of 16 mm and 14 mm are jointed by fillet weld the maximum size of the weld may be so here the code is specifying as per this problem while we are calculating the welding we need to remember uh, this one I mean the size of the fillet weld the code is specifying that in page number 79 clause number 10.5.8.1 Maximum size of the fillet weld we need to take in uh, we need to consider as thickness is less than 1.5 so here 
there are two plates two plates of thickness 16 mm and 14 mm but here i took 14 mm why because uh, every time we need to consider the least value because uh, the failure will occurs in the least value okay then thickness of the plate is 14 minus 1.5 the code specifies that so i got 12.5 mm so uh, ultimately the maximum size of lead will may be 12.5 like that we are going to solve this problem okay thank you so much thanks for watching